Hey Magic the Gathering lovers, Matt here from Turn MTG and welcome to today's Deck Tech video. And it's a modern brew. Modern Horizons has got me salvalated. I'm just so excited about the new modern cards that are coming in. And it means that we can do some extra cool, extra special brews. And I'm starting off today with a Simic Merit Slumber. This new card from Mon Horizon is a blue snow enchantment. One and a blue. Whenever the slumber or another snow permanent enters the battlefield under your control, you get a scry one, which is absolutely amazing. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control ten or more snow permanents, sacrifice this slumber. And if you do create Marriage Lage, a legendary 2020 black avatar creature token with flying and indestructible. Who doesn't want to do that? In modern, a big 2020 flying indestructible beta that's going to be absolutely impossible to move. Just make sure your opponent doesn't have that path to exile. But we do have a remand or two in there to try and help us along the way. But it is going to be an all-round GG if we get to fly and attack with that. Well, that's the plan anyway. So let's take a look at the deck. So the mana curve on this is very, very low. It's under two, which means, you know, you might think you'd run less lands with this, but we are running more lands because we want to get these snow permanents up, and we're not just going to do it on lands as well. We're going to do it in creatures as well. Starting off with a four Boreal Druid in there. It's a 1-1 one, one snow creature elf druid. They're going to be tapped to add one to your mana pool, so it can help us out a little bit early into some of those sorcery spells or potentially into something else that we want to play just that little turn quicker. Like I said, we're playing 25 lands. Cards like this, Coiling Oracle, we're going to play this as a four of. When it ends the battlefield, reveal the top card of your library if it's a land card. And we can just put that snow land, if it is, straight onto the battlefield. And if not the other card, you get put into your hand. So we're going to be using creatures and obviously instants and sorceries to help us ramp up a little bit quicker. Coiling Oracle can just be that sacrificial blocker that we might need, potentially to stop some damage from any aggro creature decks. And of course, this can put us an extra land in into play we've got this new lovely card i absolutely love this ice fang kotal it's only a one one but it's got flash of flying when it ends a battle you get to draw a card as well and it has death touch as long as you control at least three other snow permanents which we pretty much always will do as well so this can be a great great protection for us trade off with any amount of huge creatures and can come in there give its little death touch and then just basically kill that humongous creature that might be coming at us obviously having flying as well it's you know it's going to stop even more with that nice little effect there and this snow creature snake is going to do some serious work for us and for two mana a 1-1 one, one flash flying that can draw you card and have death touch that is absolutely amazing that's our strix Ice Fang Kotal. Oren Viper is the last creature card in the main board. It's a snow creature snake. It's a 1-3 one, for 1 and double green. You notice with this card, you know, I've gone, you know, this apart from the lands that are in here, this is a very budgety deck for modern. And of course, you can change the lands around if you please to make this even more budget for you. There is going to be a link down below that will send you off to my Ether Hub site. And now I can announce that I'm sort of an affiliate with TCG Player. So if you buy any cards, from my list on EtherHub, you're going to support the channel. So if you buy from that company anyway, use the link in the description and you can help out Total MTG at the same time. So be sure to go and check that out. But Orin Viper, what a card. When it deals combat damage to a creature, you get to destroy that creature at end of combat. And when this deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. So the Viper has definite value in there for three mana. The 1-3 stats are going to be nice. They're going to be able to hold up you know, defences against certain cards as well. And it's got value if it manages to get through. And obviously value if it manages to block. It could take an even huger creature with it, like the Ice Fang. So we're going to be wanting to get these snow permanents out as quickly as possible. We've got Arkham's Astrolobe there. Astrolobe? Maybe Astrolabe. Let's see if we can get the name right, eh? Cost one snow permanent to play as a snow artifact. When it ends a battlefield, you draw a card. You can see a theme with this deck. We're going to be drawing lots of cards 
and potentially putting lands down at the same time as well to get those snow permanents going. You can also tap this to add one mana of any colour by paying an extra one, which is pretty cool because we are Simic, but if we may need it, we may not. But it's nice to have that, ex you know, that extra help if we need it with the Astrolabe. We've got Explore in there. You may play an additional land this turn, draw a card. And we've also got a four of Growth Spiral. I like this card for this deck. Draw a card. We can do this at the end of our opponent's turn because it's got instant speed. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Pump up that snow. Maybe you're going to get that last snow permanent at the end of your opponent's turn ready for the 10. The magic 10 that we need to get our 2020 flying indestructible creature. Glacial Revelation, also from the new set. Reveal the top six cards of your library. Put any number of snow permanents from among them into your hand. We're running a hell of a lot of snow permanents. So this is a perfect, perfect card for us that could potentially put any, you know, all six into our hand. Glacial Revelation is in there as a three of. I spoke about a little bit of control. We've got a three of remand. It draws cards. We are a Simic drawing machine here and hopefully putting lands into play. We need to get through the deck quick, quick, quick because we need Marit Lage's slumber there. In there, on the field, snow permanence, get into the magic number of 10 and then hopefully, fingers crossed, we go and win the game with our 2020. Of course, Marit Lage slumber is in there as a four of. That is the main board. Let's take a little look at the lands now. Like I spoke about, you know, if you want to make these lands cheaper, change it around a bit. Just put more, maybe just basic snow lands in there. It's completely your choice because they're a lot cheaper than Prismatic Vista. But, it, you know, paying one life, sacrificing it, searching for a basic land card, we can go and get our snow permanence with this. So we've got one scrying sheets in there. It's around $25, but you know, you could play more of these. And if you want to play four of these, I'm not going to say no. Because you look at the ability, pay one on the snow, look at the top card of your library. If the card is snow, reveal it and put it into your hand. So these are very good in there. I've got it in as a cheeky one, but if you want to up these and the limit of their spending is no, you know, you just don't mind adding more scrying sheets. It can only make the deck better. But I do like having the forest and the islands in there as well, which we've got 11 forests and 9 islands. Sideboards in modern are obviously very, very good. If you're placing this deck to your local, you know, local game store, the meta may be different. But I've done my best to make a sideboard here to help us against certain types of decks. We've got Ceremonious Rejection there is a two of and Damping Sphere. This will help us against those colourless, dirty decks. Disdainful Stroke is a great card. Countering big planeswalkers, Jace the Mind Sculptor. It will counter anything that costs four or greater for only two mana. And that is an important card and is in the sideboard as a three of. Trying out Force of Vigor as well. You know, you can exile a green card and potentially pay nothing for this and destroying up to two artifacts or enchantments. It seems good value, but even if you have to pay the four, it's still a nice card. We hate graveyard decks, so Graph Diggers, Cage is in there with Relic of Progenitus as well. Because there's a lot of delve mechanics, you've got those, you know, those horrible graveyard decks. The new card from the set, the big Hogarth, it's going to be a deck that's going to be around everywhere. And potentially, hopefully, this will help us against graveyard strategies. We've also got two of Pulsar Marassa against those speedy aggro decks, gaining six life and potentially getting back our Kotowar Ice Fang or something like that. You know, something nice to get that creature card back. Or potentially, if we're playing land destruction, we need that snow permanent. We can go and get that back and gain an important six life as well. The last card in the sideboard is a couple of Return to Nature. I like the versatility of this card. With destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment, or exile target card from a graveyard that can be played at instant speed when they're playing their Snapcaster Mages and targeting that counter spell. We can return to nature and hopefully stop something coming back. So this is Simic Marit Slumber. I've played this deck. And if you want to see some gameplay for this, smash those likes and let me know in the comments and I can potentially record some gameplay for this. And like I said, go check out the description. Go in there and see the link to the deck and it will take you to my Ether page. And if you want to do a little bit of spending on it, please use my affiliate link. It will be very much appreciated if you use TCG 
already, I will be very much appreciative of that. I've been Matt from TotalMTG. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new. Liking is caring and so is sharing the video. I appreciate you all and I'll see you on the next video.